Hey everybody, welcome back to another great video from Conley Hoops. Today we are talking about the Pivot Game. People that use the Pivot great were Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Keeban Lajuan. A lot of these guys were great off the Pivot. Today, that's what we're talking about, how to use the Pivot Game. I'm Coach Conley with Conley Hoops. I've been coaching and training players for over 30 plus years, and my goal with this great content is to help you become a varsity basketball player. Today, you see so many players taking guys off the dribble, and the dribble game has become so important. But a lot of guys need to slow down, and especially when you're a young player. There are so many things you miss by just putting the ball on the floor. And a lot of great coaches in their motion offense want to see more catch looking off the triple threat for great opportunities rather than just dribbling right away and hoping to make good plays. So how do you dominate the pivot game? I know it's not talked about as much as it used to be, but the pivot is so important, and I think Overall, we need to stop dribbling too much. As a basketball coach, I just see it too much and I'm always trying to get my guys to slow down. One of the least used areas is the pivot. It's either I'm dribbling or the ball's above my head. And both can be effective, but at the most, I need to be under control and be able to be calm to read defenses. And it just isn't something that we focus on a lot today. And again, it's understandable with Kyrie Irving and Chris Paul and Steph Curry, but, but a lot of these guards that have the ball in their hands all the time, in the NBA is kind of a different game. But if you watch the Devin Bookers and some of these wing players that we have, they've gotten really good off the pivot and sometimes these guys get lost. For you to be effective, you're going to need to be able to play off the pivot so you can make better reads as an offensive player and you will be able to take advantage of aggressive defensive players by just slowing your pace down and taking advantage of what they give you. So what does playing off the pivot really do for you? One, it slows down decision making, giving you opportunities to make the right players. It does take advantage of aggressive defensive players, which is what you really want whether you're going off the dribble or off the pivot. It also helps you make the right reads. Now how do you go about doing this? Well, there's a key fundamentals. One, triple threat. Being low, being ready is something that we're not really good at today. And we need to spend more time in triple threat to make sure that we're making the right decisions. One of the key separators is the jab step. Using a jab step, you can create space to make different choices off the pivot. Another skill is the pump fake. Jabs and pump fakes off the pivot can be very useful in creating separation and giving you opportunities to either shoot the ball because the defense isn't jumping or beating them because they do jump at a pump fake and now you can get by them. Either one takes patience and you have to be able to read the defensive player. A lot of players today don't play with their back to the basket anymore. Sometimes it's still an effective move to catch the ball squared up away from your defender and then working on rip throughs and jab steps off of that. It's amazing how effective we can be with our back to the basket and then quickly pivoting into a rip through or a jab. That creates a ton of separation and it's very useful. Taking the time to perfect your pivot game will make you a very good basketball player. And being fundamentally sound is huge when it comes to making your high school program and playing at the next level. Fundamentals are key and a lot of our fundamentals just aren't good as they used to be. It also slows you down and you can be more effective being ready to make the right play. Take advantage of your defense without even dribbling and you will have more options available to you to be a great and effective varsity basketball player. I look forward to seeing how you use these things in your game to be effective. I hope you enjoyed today's video and the content that we're providing. Please like, leave a comment, tell me how your pivot game helps you succeed at the next level. Check out the next video and we'll be back.